This is our new uh, drone. We are going to be releasing our sterile uh, coddling moth from this drone over the apple orchards in southeast Kelowna this season. So in the past, it's always been the work of people driving around on ATVs. It looks like a fairly labor-intensive process. Is the idea that this can save on labor, increase efficiency? Yeah, the, the flight that's going to service this orchard is going to be about seven or eight minutes long and uh, it would take some, uh, someone on an ATV to release the same number of moths much, much longer to drive up and down the rows. And once we set it up, we manually take off, but then we, we press a programmed button and, and it's going to fly the route itself. So how does it physically work? How do you load these uh, sterile moths onto the drone and, and how are they deployed? Um, so you're going to see what basically looks like a bucket, a white bucket. <laughs> so we're going to put the moths in it um, and we're going to slide it into the bottom uh, just here, these, these, these rails. And um, on the bottom of the bucket there's a little auger and I can show you that and it, it just spins at a certain rate and the moths just kind of softly drift out onto the over the top of the trees. When we fly over a row, the moths fall um, in a wide disbursement over many rows. And when we drive up a row with an ATV and release, the moths only go onto uh, the, the ground and into the low branches of the tree in that one row. And so they, I mean, moths do wake up and then they fly around and they move all around the orchard. So, um, but yeah, the distribution is much more um, balanced, I guess I would say. And if you yeah. didn't do sterile insect release, we would be gunning our orchards with... With more pesticides. That's right. So this is an environmental, um, a environmentally beneficial program because the orchardist has to spay less pesticides to control this insect in their orchard. And so the moth is the one that would put that big, ugly hole in my apple that makes me not want to eat it. That's right. It's the proverbial worm in your apple. It's the, the moth lays the, their eggs onto the surface of the apple or the leaves, and then the larva of the coddling moth burrows in uh, into the middle of the apple. And so the larva is the worm, and the coddling moth is the, the mature stage of that insect. And you have somehow found a way to make moths that will mate, but not create offspring. And so the other moths mate, but don't propagate. That's right, that's right. So we are distributing sterile coddling moth to, so they're sterile. Um, so they're, they're, their offspring, when they mate with a wild moth, are not viable. The eggs will not produce offspring. And um, so those sterile insects... Um, stop the, the the next generation from from happening, and the moth itself does no damage to the apple. It's the larva, and so you, it's that next generation that, that you have to stop. Um, yeah. Okay, so this whole thing makes nothing but sense. But admit it, you guys are having a lot of fun with this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's been great, and it's been a learning experience for sure.